Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover and depending on where you stand, Eminem either turned your frown to a smile or the other way around. And here's some context to go with this. On Rap God, Eminem stated, and I know the haters are forever waiting for the day that they can say I fell off, they'll be celebrating. And this was indeed the case, at least prematurely, when hip hop outlets chose to take part in this buffoonery with claims that Eminem was about to lose his number one streak. And we'll get to more on this in a bit, and later, we'll also explore the OCC's report from the United Kingdom about Eminem's 2020 facts in the country that will blow your mind. As we dive into these topics today, remember to hit the like button if you enjoy content like this, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. When I said haters were celebrating prematurely, it was in reaction to false information from outlets. Here's a few examples. That just means we will get another one sooner with him being mad about not being number one. And even Forbes posted an article to celebrate early. With music to be murdered by Side B, it looks like Eminem's winning streak will finally come to an end. Notice the use of the word finally and link this back to my quote from Rap God. And this is coming from a senior contributor at Forbes. And some even elaborated on Eminem losing his quote unquote number one streak, forgetting that the album already went number one like this. I hope this is a good example as to why this way of releasing new music is stupid, it's confusing. However, for those that celebrated early, official reports were about to rain on their parade, and from chart data, the report shows that Eminem's music to be murdered by sold 94,000, returned to the top 5, and as you can see, it peaked at number 1. The album exceeded the two projections, the first that stated it was set to open with 70 to 80,000, and the second revision that bumped it up to open with nearly 90,000. And bear in mind that due to the new chart rules, physical copies didn't count since they weren't ready for shipment. So this was all streams and digital sales. And here's one from Chart Data. Eminem's music to be murdered by Side B was up 1,125% in the United States unit sales this week. It earned over 82 million streams. And Paul Rosenberg reacted to this with, thanks for listening. And to give you some context on what 82 million streams with a deluxe album means, just for science, this is even more streamed than the artists that switched genres for greener pastures managed first week upon switching. And here's the cherry on top. Eminem smashed the 50-year-old chart record. Last week, Music To Be Murdered By was down to 199 on the Billboard 200 albums chart. And with this deluxe, here's a report to go with it. Music To Be Murdered By by Eminem has broken the record for the largest jump on the Billboard 200 with 196 spots, up from 199 to number 3 this week. Previous record was held by Self Portrait by Bob Dylan, which rose 193 spots in July 1970 from 200 to number 7. And in just a few days, Eminem has flipped it on his detractors who celebrated too soon. He kept his streak and went farther to break a 50 year old record all in a day's work. And some seem genuinely hurt by this. It's got some users on Twitter asking questions like this Why other fandoms get triggered by other artists' numbers? And here's a fitting response. They still can't accept that a 48-year-old man was their quote-unquote young artist. Eminem's not the first to drop a deluxe album in music history. In fact, this isn't even his first deluxe album in his career. But check this out. This is cheating. It was basically a new album. And before I get to more Eminem wins in foreign markets like the United Kingdom, Eminem's associates like Crook are even getting hated on these days for their affiliation to Eminem. They've got Crook thinking and dropping tweets like this. I talk rap and rappers all day, but only get pushbacks when it's M, J, and Park, or maybe a young gun who uses autotune. And he got attacked with this response that caught his attention. Sounds like you're hating, you're starting to remind me of the million dollar man Ted DiBiase friend Virgil. You're still waiting for Eminem to create a moment instead of you creating one. When have you supported Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine or anybody like that? Or Cap? And Crook responds with, I have two interviews with Benny and one with Gone. We discuss all their albums here, salute. And while you still scratch your head trying to figure out what just happened, we move on to the OCC's facts about Eminem in 2020 highlighted in the report 60 incredible official chart facts of 2020. Also in January, Eminem extended his record-breaking run of consecutive number one albums to 10. 
No other act in the United Kingdom chart history has managed to land as many chart-topping albums in a row. It continues. Music To Be Murdered By also claimed the biggest week of album streams seen in all of 2020. And there was more. In the same week, Eminem's single Godzilla topped the official singles chart, giving Slim Shady his 10th number one single, joining just seven other acts with a double-figure amount of chart toppers. And it continues. Godzilla's featured artist was the late Juice World, who became the first act in 12 years ever since Ava Cassidy in December 2007 to claim a posthumous number one single. And Eminem wasn't done. In March, his greatest hits Curtain Call became the first rap album and only 11th album overall to register 400 weeks in official albums chart top 100. And remember, only four acts earned the chart double in the United Kingdom this year, which includes Eminem. I'll be looking forward to check out your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks again and see you on the next one.